Ash Wednesday is a day of prayer and penance that begins the season of Lent. It's been a part of the Western Christian tradition for centuries and centuries and centuries. In the Catholic tradition, many Catholics begin their Lenten practices on Ash Wednesday by receiving ashes on their forehead as a sign of their own commitment to being penitent, that is, seeking God's forgiveness and working to bring themselves closer to Jesus throughout the Lenten period. The liturgical use of ashes dates all the way back to Old Testament times. There are accounts in the books of Esther, Job, and Daniel of the use of ashes as a symbol of mourning or repentance. In the Gospels, we hear about the use of ash as a sign of repentance as well. As it developed over time, it took on a solely liturgical use as a part of our Lenten preparation. In the Gregorian Sacramentary, for example, we have the ritual of the distribution of ashes as a part of Ash Wednesday. But prior to that, early church fathers like Tertullian and Eusebius talked about the use of ashes as a sign of repentance. In the Middle Ages, priests used to sprinkle ashes on those who were dying and laid them on sackcloth as a sign of their own desire for repentance and to be united to Jesus in their deaths. Eventually, over time, the use of ashes was adapted to mark the beginning of Lent. This has been common throughout the church tradition for hundreds and hundreds of years. There is an official ritual and rite of the distribution of ashes as a part of our beginning of Lenten celebrations. Who can receive ashes? This is a question that many people get all the time, especially here on a university campus. We get questions about, I'm not Catholic, can I still receive ashes? The answer is yes. Anyone is free to receive ashes on their head on Ash Wednesday, provided it's a sign of their commitment to their own brokenness, their own desire to restore their connection to God, their own seeking of the divine mercy in their own lives. For us Catholics, receiving ashes on our head on Ash Wednesday is a concrete sign of our commitment to celebrating and preparing in the Lenten season. The receiving of ashes isn't a sacrament, so it's open to all, and those who want to grow closer to God and those who want to show that they need God's healing hand in their lives are welcome to receive ashes on Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is not a holy day of obligation, but it's interesting that Ash Wednesday is one of those days in the liturgical year where many of the faithful participate. This is a great thing. It's a wonderful thing because we're acknowledging our own shortcomings. We're acknowledging our own sinfulness. We're consciously asking the Lord to be in our lives as a part of this Lenten experience and prepare us for the reality of his death and resurrection. What is said when you're receiving ashes? Well, as a part of the rite of distribution of ashes, the priest, deacon, or minister that will be putting the ashes on your forehead will say one of two phrases. One, repent and believe in the gospel. This harkens back to one of Jesus' first sayings in the Gospel of Mark, currently the gospel we are exploring in, in year B. Repent is one of the first things that he says. Repentance is what Lent is all about. It's about seeking God's healing mercy, acknowledging our brokenness, and asking for God's healing hand in our lives as we prepare for the reality of what happens at Easter. Another phrase you might hear is, turn away from sin and believe in the gospel. This is another phrase that we hear during the ritual distribution of ashes. This reminds us of the reality and the truth of the saving power of the gospel. We should believe. We should believe in what Jesus has done for us and we are preparing for the reality of that truth at Easter. How long do you leave the ashes on your head after receiving? As long as they stay there. There's no right or wrong way or no set amount of time that ashes should be left on your head. Many people, including myself, will leave the ashes on our head until the next time that we cleanse ourselves. But certainly, if you wash your face and ashes come off, it doesn't mean that you need to go and get ashed again or that you are not participating in Ash Wednesday. Are activities limited on Ash Wednesday? Ash Wednesday is a day of fasting and abstinence. The Catholic Church has particular guidelines 
around fasting and abstinence and what age groups should fast and abstain from meat on Ash Wednesday and Fridays during Lent. Ash Wednesday is one of those days. We make a commitment to abstain from eating meat as a symbol of our commitment to humbling ourselves, to emptying ourselves, preparing to grow closer to Jesus. We fast on Ash Wednesday only having one full meal in order that we are making a symbolic gesture of sacrificing something of ourselves in order that we honor and are committed to the sacrifice that Jesus has made for us. Today, the use of ashes on Ash Wednesday reminds us that we are mortal, reminds us that we do need God in our lives, reminds us of the truth of what Jesus has accomplished for us on the cross and the hope of eternal life.